Hello everybody, I'm Lucia Giacani, I'm a fashion photographer from Milan. I've been working as a fashion photographer for seven years. I'd like first to show you some of my works. Here you can see this first project I've produced for the website of Italian Vogue and this is linked to the project we have been developing here for 10 collection. And I worked at the University of Veterinary with the anatomical model and uh, I think it's a very powerful and, and colorful project. Instead, here you can see another project. This one has been produced for another Italian magazine. It's a bit surreal and it reflects as well my style. Instead, here you can see another project and this one has been produced for Arrots magazine and uh, it was a very hard uh, work but I think uh, the result uh, is pretty good. Uh, I'm very happy to be one of the 10 artists and it was a uh, a great experience for me to work with a great uh, 3D designer. Hi, my name is Mateusz Mura. Some people also know me as Matt Cloud. I'm a CG artist and a designer from Warsaw, Poland, where I've studied industrial design for a couple of years. And that's when I started to use 3D software. At the beginning, I used to, to make simple visualizations for the products that I've done, for some furniture and product design. But then I started to explore a little more and see and saw that uh, CGI is a really powerful and creative tool to do my own stuff, and my personal work and commercial work, such as character design, you can see right here. And the other thing I would like to show you is my personal project called Pinder Than That. It's kind of a journal for me, but instead of writing down everything that inspires me or everything I see or do each day, I make uh, vertical panoramas in 180 degrees. Uh, in the places that inspire me, such as Milano, when I'm here right now, to work with a perfect and awesome photographer called Lucia Giacani. The male uh, idea of the project uh, came up by these uh, white organs. What I wanted to show is um, the contradiction between the way the model looks and the white organs. I mean, what's the point to be healthy if uh, uh, it's hard, if you are suffering to be healthy? So when we first met and started to uh, work on the, on the shooting, we started to uh, think about which parts of the body should we show or how to cut the body to show these white organs. And I want these organs to, um, to look more, like, more artificial, less biological, so it will look like they were almost designed. It was funny because uh, we discovered that we both studied industrial design and it actually uh, helped us to understand each other and to know in which way we are aiming in this whole project and also in showing the insides of the model. So we decided just to do five images. Uh, the difference is that uh, with a story, the concept is even more powerful. The first part of this project was just to shoot the story in my studio. So when uh, the project was defined, it was important to, to choose the right team. A makeup artist, hair styling, a stylist, a manicurist and assistants. The day of the shooting, generally I work with a couple of assistants. One is helping to, uh, to set up the lighting and another is helping with the digital. I mean that my camera is directly connected to my computer, so uh, it is possible uh, everybody uh, to see immediately the images in a big size. So this is very important because during the shooting you don't really have much time because the preparation for the model takes a long time, something like two, three hours. So if you need during a day to do a series of pictures, you really need uh, uh, to be fast in the selection, in understanding what is right, what is wrong, above all what is wrong so you are able to correct something. During the preparation of the model, generally you also explain to the model the kind of story you are going to shoot. Because the model is a kind of actress during the shooting, you don't put her in pose as you want, like if she is an object. She has to interpret your character. 
Another important point for this project was the choice of dresses, because of course we needed something that was easily that you could open in the front so the model could show the organs. So at the end we decided uh, the model has to wear all the dresses back to front. I didn't want uh, a strong uh, shadows, strong lighting on the model. That's why basically I worked with a soft box, uh, rectangular, that I just put behind the woman uh, to give a kind of be uh, back lighting above all over the hair. Then on the right side I chose a white umbrella so mixing both lighting I would have obtained a nice shadow on the left part of the model. I wanted uh, the light uh, on this project to be cold uh, and blue uh, because uh, the blue atmosphere uh, reminds a surgical situation. When uh, the lighting uh, is ready, the first shoot I generally do is with the color calibrating card. Uh, we just uh, put it in front of the model and this is very important this card to be exactly where the model will be because this card has to take the lighting the model will take on air. Uh, you can uh, with the curves go directly touching one of these square and you will be sure that uh, your uh, uh, color, the color of your images are exactly as you want them. Generally I work with the 5D Mark II or Mark III and for this project I used a zoom lens 24-70 f2.8. You have a choice, you can work with a zoom lens and this is good because you can really do different things with only one lens. On the other side, you can work with a fixed focus lens. This lens gives you the possibility to have an image a little bit sharper. Uh, considering uh, we were working with flash lighting that are really powerful, uh, just to give you an idea, more powerful than a sunny day with clouds, I had the possibility to work with a diaphragm quite closed, 11, 13, and the sensibility of ISO were very low, 100. The time of speed was 160. So, after the shooting, I just gave Matteus the five selected images. And then we sat in front of the screen and start to, uh, make, we started to make some sketches to design the ways that we're going to cut uh, the, the, the model and uh, how to put the organs, which organs should we put inside. After the photo shoot with the model, we placed the organs on the table in the same spot with the same lightning, so I can uh, adjust the lightnings in my 3D program so the organs will look more believable. I took the final image that Lucia did and I put it in Photoshop, made another layer where I do this, uh, the sketch using the Wacom Cintiq tablet. gives you a totally new experience and really makes it easier to create. And we both discussed how to organize all the insights in the final uh, piece. And then I go to a stock site like Fotolia to look for some inspirations. And uh, this time I was looking for some cross-sections, anatomical images that I could use then to recreate all the organs. While working on CGI, I use many different softwares, but this time I thought that using uh, Pixology ZBrush was the best solution because you're able to sculpt in 3D. You basically start with a single sphere and then you can go whatever your imagination can lead you. It's an amazing thing because it's like a clay but made of 3D polygons. You don't have to use many tools. I used about three tools. I use Move Elastic tool and a few standard tools. I've created all the different surfaces on the organs using simple alpha brushes, about four of them to be able to recreate the muscles and also the veins on the heart. After I finished the work on the model, I saved and exported to OBG file, so I'll be able to open it in a rendering software. For rendering, I use KeyShot. 
This is an amazing tool because it allows you to see your results instantly as a real-time rendering engine. So each time you apply a material, you can see it. You can, you can adjust the shadows and the RGDRI uh, surroundings. Then I recreated the lights that were in the Lucia Studio. And it's pretty simple in Keyshot because all you have to do is to open the RGDR file and drag and drop the lights and you can put them in the places that you want. You can instantly observe how the lights reflect on your model and where the shadows are dropping. You can also edit every single material so you can adjust the colors, the textures, the bump map, transparency. I downloaded some photos from Fotolia and I put them as a bump map so I could make these organs look more the way that we both desired with Lucia. To create a bump map or a texture out of a picture, all you have to do is just to double click the, the material and click edit and then you have to choose what thing you want to do with the picture. For example, I chose the picture that I downloaded with a texture of cracked earth and I applied it as a bump map. That makes your picture, whatever it is, it could be a, your family picture, it makes it into 3D. So even if you apply it on a flat surface, it will make it 3D. And then afterwards, I had to adjust the perspective so we could match the one that were in the studio. And I also can change the focal length of the camera so I could change my focal length on the 3G software into 60 millimeters, so it's the same focus length and everything is just like on the set. And then when I think I'm finished, and when everything is done, I save the file as PNG so that it doesn't have any background and it will be easier to apply it to the picture in the Photoshop. Because you use many softwares to achieve this, you have to check if, uh, if each step matches with the picture that you are working on. So in the final step of uh, the photo montage, I import the PNG file to Photoshop and I had to isolate the skirt and the shape that the girl is hurting so we able to show the insides. On the layers I put the, the PNG underneath and then I had to uh, bring up some shadows, a lens blur, so it will look more real. And then I used the high pass tool to add some sharpness on edges. Basically, I think that our work is done. She does the retouch of the skin, I do the retouch of the organs, and everything then beautifully matches. It was a great teamwork, not only because of the team on the set, but also Lucia's boyfriend, Max, helped us a lot in doing the final uh, image. He helped me and he helped her to achieve the things that we, we couldn't do or we had no time to do. So I would like uh, to thank Spotolia because uh, uh, I had a great opportunity to see how a 3D artist works and uh, it was the first time for me that I collaborate with a 3D artist and I had no idea how to build a 3D model and it was really amazing to uh, look at Matthew's working. And I would like to say thanks for Talia for giving me the opportunity to come to Milan and work with a professional photographer on a real shooting, with a, with a real fashion shooting with a model. It was also uh, really cool to see how you set the lightings in the studio and I'm sure that will help me to improve uh, my renders and the way that I create the lights in my projects.